squash. Hey, we're alive. No, I don't want the beach. They're squash. alive right now. Why? You want local Vikings fans pissed about yeah. the Vikes not getting Linval Joseph know, going to Dallas yeah. to reunite with former Minnesota Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer. I'm sitting here with uh, former player Anthony Provenzino. Uh, what do you think about Mike or Brian Flores calling to a horse shit? Well, there's a few layers here you got to look at, right? Pre-draft, it was yeah. obvious Flores wanted yeah. Herbert. Yes. He did not want Tua, and ownership went with Tua, and that pissed off Coach Flo. What, what did Juan do in my bed? <laughs> oh, he made sweet love in it. You're being recorded. Sweet, yes. <laughs> sweet um, love. You're being recorded by two cameras. Um, and they were unclean. <laughs> <laughs> Forever unclean. But, um... But yeah, Flores did not want Tua from the get-go, and um, that just resulted him having authority over Tua and uh, telling him he's a piece of shit every day. And Tua, yeah, he had to live through it there for about a good year and a half, got benched a couple times for Fitzpatrick, <laughs> and um, yeah, that shit caught up to him, though. Um, let's 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 give it to up to our... Dude, uh, keep that shit away from me. Get, let's, Back no, from no. you, Timmy. <laughs> no, 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 I'll no, take, no. I'll take the mic. No, no, no. Today, Anthony... Give it, give it, give it to our pre-draft analyst here, uh, Mel Kuyper, Josh Johnson here. Uh, what is your thoughts on uh, the whole Tua situation with Coach Flores? <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> Dude, today Anthony went on the phone with some chick about like a job or whatever, and he goes, "Hey, this is uh, Anthony Provenzino, Rhonda's daughter." <laughs> and he had no idea he said that. Rhonda's daughter. Dude, I almost started. He was on speaker, like over like the sink thing, and I almost started dying of laughter because he introduced himself as a daughter. She's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> well, she she was like. <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh, that's the funniest shit I've ever heard. Okay, Dasso, give me the mic. I'm here with two-time uh, winner, Anthony Provenzino. <laughs> uh, as we see the board break down, we have Tommy Anderson coming in at the 12th pick. Uh, <laughs> what do you see him doing at the end of the first into the second? Well, I, I want to hear this. Well, Dawson, it's a good question because it all depends on how much liquor is in his system yep, uh -huh. for the first round there. So, um, <laughs> a lot of liquor there. I, I'm leaning towards a, a, a sixth consecutive year of Travis Kelsey in the yeah, first round. If, if the captain's hit correct, Anthony, uh, I think we will be seeing Kelsey at the 112 turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, if, 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 if he's got a, at least half bottle of JMO in that system, man, I mean, he's really getting the. Uh, <laughs> You know, the Taylor Swifty vibes there on uh, there in Arrowhead. <laughs> I but, was Taylor um, Swift before she became Taylor Swift. But however, though, oh, if uh, dude, my back hurts so bad. dude, dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> set up. <laughs> we're gonna set <laughs> not talk, you ink. <laughs> we're gonna send it back to the pussy, Drew Grendel. Uh, Drew, what do you have to say about your back hurting? <laughs> well, Dawson, we're sitting in the back of this. Uh, Back to you, Josh. <laughs> Do not bring that thing over <laughs> So, no, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Oh, back to Anthony Provence. Hey. Oh, we got a quick question. So, why did Josh Johnson draft Alexander Madison over Ramondre Stevenson in the second round of last season's draft? I have the answer. No comment. Stage fright, ladies and gentlemen. We are now giving it to Tommy Boo Boo Anderson. <laughs> Hello, I am up in the front seat. Hello, so I can't. <laughs> Can you hear me? Is oh, too? Hello. Yeah, I am up here in the front seat on Cash <laughs> Cab, and I believe I the reason he took Alexander Madison over Ramondre Stevenson <laughs> He's just talking to was himself. because he didn't know who Ramondre Stevenson was. Back to you, Dawson. I was on the Thanks camera John up here. For that great breakdown that none of us could hear. Um, <laughs> Except for the viewers. I totally agree with every point you just made. Dude, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Drew, can we get a prediction of what we think tonight's matchup between the Twins and the... Where they play? Cardinals. Twins and the Cardinals are going to match up. <laughs> Twins going to win. <laughs> Thank, you you Ollie. Ollie, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Thank you, Ollie. There you have it, folks. Everybody look like ants. Twins are going to win. I think, is Royce Lewis playing tonight? 
He better be. Yeah, he didn't play last time. Hey, yeah. This is so sick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do we got here? So as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, Jamar man. Chase and CD Lamb are not among a the man. top five paid wide receivers. Just a man. Man. <laughs> if you think CD Lamb's going to get paid, where is he going to land on that list? Between Jefferson and Brown. <laughs> Probably number two. Yeah. Dallas. It's keeps going him. to rev up the Bugatti. Can so, we take a second to ask you what like you think about? everything? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should I ask if, if I can get their input on the Brian Flores to a tug of Iowa situation? <laughs> roll down the fucking... Yeah, oh, it's, it's rolled down. Yeah, no, the screen shaken. thing. I don't. Are you allowed to? I don't know. We're going to leave that right there. <laughs> hey, if I could take a second... <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I got stage right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> My face got really warm. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Oh, I got another news question to ask you guys. Hey. All right, we're back on the air here on Fox 9. 9-12 and uh, what do you have to say about Colin Peterson's dumbass play to drive all the way to St. Louis Park to go to a bar when we're going downtown to go to a Twins game and right we after. live in St. Louis Park an <laughs> idiot yeah way to tell everybody that Josh I'm gonna ask you to uh, speak oh, up thank you we oh, live in St. Louis Park and his dumbass <laughs> went there right when we left Colin as you can see the bystanders think you're all thank you very much <laughs> yeah, thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you sir Hi guys, thank you very much. Have a good one. You too, guys. This Where is the coolest Uber videos? car I've ever been. Oh, yeah, two days. Don't help me out or Where anything. Uh, next slide. Let me show you. I need to get your uh, YouTube yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Don't take you off. Can you can open it up. It's kind of you. I'm still stuck back. Yeah. Uh, you said you didn't. Nice old Oh, wow. This is service. I love the TV. Wow. There's a TV back there? Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't see you, man. Wow, this is legit. Best Uber. Best night in the city. This is, yeah, this is how you do an Uber right here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god! How does it turn on? Oh, it's only. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? 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 What's your favorite? I can see you guys. He's question here. And I promise you, Alan Bowman is not Oh, it's a YouTube podcast. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Are you talking? It's on, it's on, go ahead. Oh, it's already on, okay. But I can't hear anything. Talk no, it's, it's recording, it's here. Oh, it's recording. It's recording. Talk about something. Oh, you just say, what is your favorite quote, why? Okay. Or what's your favorite book to read? Why? Emma, I'm looking at the video. Uh, of what? Not a great look at you. I don't know. I got put on oh, the spot. Oh, it's on? Well, think about where the camera is. It's right here. It's on here, here. it's on. Oh. It's, it's a wide angle, so it's recording everybody. Oh, that's cool. Can't get away with anything back here. Keep talking. Oh, that's okay. Then, then <laughs> say something. It's a podcast. He's live streaming. Really? So yeah. you're live streaming right now on YouTube? Yeah, just, yeah. just say whatever you want. Tell us something. Do you have any hot, hot takes? I got a lot of things. <laughs> What's your thing? Give him the mic. I, I, I pick a naked person one night. So, so I, I've, got <laughs> an opinion. I've got an opinion from my Vikings fans out here? there. Uh, <laughs> my, my Vikings fans out there. I really don't think the J.J. McCarthy injury is a big loss. I think Sam Darnold's ready to go. Okay. It won't be a problem. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think with Sam Darnold, it's probably an eight-win team, let's say. Okay. Really? I think that's fair. Can I have the mic? Is go ahead. Good? I'll hand you the mic. Okay. Justin Jefferson is going to demand a trade mid-season because there's a 0.0% no, chance they're going to pay him what he's doing. You want to demand a trade. No, nah, he's getting paid out. He won't demand trade. All right. Justin Jefferson is going nowhere. He's staying in Minneapolis. Don't worry about that. Well, is that not a problem at all. The future of the NFC North is up for debate right now because it is crazy. We okay. never thought that Jordan Love would be a problem as NFC North fans. I'm a Lions fan. We never thought Jordan Love would be the guy. That is a little scary. It makes me nervous. But right now... Let the Vikings and the Lions run the division for a little bit. And just pray to God the Bears stay down and the Packers don't bounce back. That's what we need right now. The Bears will always suck. They always have. They always Period. Will. Yeah. Period. Okay, Alex, say something. Nah, I'm good. 
I don't have any like hot like things that I'm like, oh like I can just like talk about sports for like Oh, mine's minutes. all sports things. I just I'll I'll talk sports for an hour on this thing. Okay, go, keep going. What do you think about the season? What do you say about for college football? College Who's football wearing the is the team to watch. Who's wearing the natty? It's the first time with the 12 team playoff, <laughs> and that really changes everything. It changes the way we look at everything, because I mean we all think there'll be upsets in the 12 team playoff, but they really won't. But what it does is it allows teams from different conferences to kind of show up, allow themselves in the moment. Penn State never once went to a single college football playoff game. This year, Penn State likely will be in the 12 team playoff. So fan bases from places like that are gonna experience something they never have in the last 10 years. It kind of changes the way all of college football will play out from here on out. I mean, you got a three loss Big 12 team that can possibly make the college football playoff. Changes everything. You have a three loss Kansas or a Utah that will likely, Oklahoma State, likely make the college football Who's playoff. Who's coming out of the Big 12? Big 12, the winner will be Utah. Um, Who's coming in second? I think likely if you look at Kansas's roster and what they have to play from here on out, Kansas is also going to be possibly a playoff team for a team that used to win two games a year five years ago. Crazy to think about. What about what about the ACC? Who's ACC, I think after Florida State definitely losing today, Miami is a favorite. Miami looks very good. Miami has the best top three quarterback I think right now on Cameron Ward. Miami looks very Wait, who's good. Who's right one and now. two? If he's top three, who, Clemson other would be number two. Oh no, the other quarterbacks? Yes. I think the best quarterbacks right now are Dylan Gabriel. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Cameron Ward and I hate to say it, Carson but Beck. Shadur looks so good. What about Carson Beck? I watch back on a lot of Shadur's tape. He, he looks good. I'm a Nebraska fan. I hate to see you to death. Shadur throws good balls when he understands the pocket and when pressure's on him, which he doesn't really. But if you can control the pressure and when the ball is on Shadur, he can throw an unreal good ball. So it would be interesting to see him with a good offensive line, maybe in the NFL. I don't know what to take. I don't buy into Carson Beck. I really don't buy into Carson Beck. I don't. I don't see it. And I don't get it yet. What about Will Howard? I know. I, I don't. Know I hate Will Howard. I don't see Will Howard. Head. Will Howard got benched for Avery Johnson in Kansas State. He was hurt. He came back from his injury, and they still started Avery Johnson over Will Howard. Ohio State fans think he'll, he'll just, just show up and change it. It won't. Yeah. He's Kyle McCord part two. It's the same thing. What about what about Avery Johnson? I think Avery Johnson's good, man. He was a true freshman last year, and he started at K State. He looks really good. I think K-State has an underrated, amazing like, coach. What? A coach I wanted in Nebraska over Matt Rule at the time. All right, so I think they have winning, an incredible head coach. Who's winning the Heisman? I'm so excited to be here with I think you guys. Dylan, right now, I think right now Dylan Gabriel wins Heisman. Because I think Oregon will be so good. Hey, do you think Oregon's going to win the Natty? I think Oregon wins the Big Ten, not the Natty. I think Georgia wins the Natty, so. Who do you think is the Final Four? Final Four would be Oregon, Georgia, and let's do a wild card with possibly Utah and Oregon, Penn State. Georgia, Penn State yeah. over Ohio State. Yeah. Okay, can we talk about Chip Kelly for a second? So Chip Kelly proves no no advantage to Ohio State whatsoever. People think the addition of Chip Kelly means spreading the ball out, but it doesn't. Chip Kelly runs the ball more than any offensive coach in the country. They will run the ball down the middle nonstop religiously. So you're telling me that Trevion Henderson is not the best running back in college football? 